Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another match vlog. It's Coventry City at home to Middlesbrough in the Championship playoffs today. I can't believe Coventry City are in the Championship playoffs for the first time ever, but we're up against Middlesbrough, obviously a very good side. We did just play them on the final day of the league season uh, and we drew... I think Coventry have got to try and nail down some advantage in the home game. I think we might win 2-1. I don't know. I think it would be a really tight game, I won't lie. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them weird ones where we need to try and win. A draw's not great, but a loss would be a disaster. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens. But Middlesbrough are a very good team. They've got very good fans as well. Before we get to the CBS, guys, do make sure, of course, to drop a like. I thank just want to say a massive thank you for your support this season. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do get involved with that down below as well. Let's get to the CBS. Big game. Come on. Right, we're joined by Joel. What do you think the score's going to be? 2-1. 2-1 Cobb. Who do you reckon might score? Your Chris Neymar. Put it there, buddy. Play up Sky Blues. Prediction! My prediction is I'm going to be nervous. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't say. I don't know this. I'm terrified. Um, it's going to be a nerve wracking game, um, and we're going to, both teams are going to go in it hard. That's all I can say. I'm not giving you a prediction. That's boring. What's your prediction, Paul? 2 0. 2 0 Cov? I like it. Who's scoring? Uh, Prediction, George. We're gonna win one nil. One nil. But I'll take a draw today. You, no, you can't take a draw when we're at home. I would. I'll take a draw. Who's gonna score then? Oh, Jamie Allen. Jamie Allen. Here we go. For many of these players, it'll be the biggest games of their careers. We're underway. Corner of the game. Here we go, Hamer with the corner. Oh, wasn't a million miles away. Recycle it, come on. Keep going. Oh, going back. Oh my goodness. I don't like the pressure. Get it out. Borough corner. Oh, Jeez. Did we win? They've started to get back into this Middlesbrough. Here's Victor Jokerez. Convict. Rolls it, Liam Kelly. Oh, deflected. Go on. It's it, Aimer. Oh, what a mad scramble. Goal kick to Borough. Much better pressure from Coventry. Here we come. There's a possible chance. Corner. Corner for City. Attack it. Oh. Let's go again, boys. Ah. We've made it to half time. It's uh, nil nil. There's really not been a lot in this game. Nil nil's pretty fair at half time. I must say, Middlesbrough have seen a lot of the ball and they do look dangerous. I like the way they move it around. They've got good players. They haven't hurt us yet, but who knows? They might in the second half. As I said, they've got need to get an advantage from this home tie, so we need to go and get a goal. What do you reckon at half time? Oh, my nerves aren't doing any better. The first part of that half, Middlesbrough, like you say, had more the ball. They look like the better team, and we are going to struggle. However, the second half did bring me hope. Um, making more of the, you know, the opportunities, more of the Middlesbrough mistakes. Hamer, little runs around players. He's class. If, if anyone's going to win this game, it's going Hamer's going to do it for us. Yeah. We need our stars to shine. Jokeres, Hamer. We need a player to step forward to get us a goal. At the moment, nil-nil, not good enough. Here we go for half-time entertainment at the CBS. So we're about to see a goal from the halfway line. Oh, bless him. Didn't even get to the six-yard box. Here we go. Big second half. Come on, the boys. For a corner. Clear it then. Off corner. Oh, flashed across. Oh, we've got to recycle it while they're pinned in. Free kick. Come on. Oh, wait, we've played advantage. Nice advantage. Oh. Corner. Come on then. Off corner. Oh. Come on, so 
right clip. Oh. oh nothing. Five to go, still goalless in this one, still a bit too tight, too cagey really. He's a word, Great atmosphere though. time we're going to get then? Four. Four added minutes. Four minutes to try and find the winner. This game's gone quite quick considering there's not been much in it really. Could there be one last chance here for Coventry? Jokeres. Come on, someone. Hamer. Oh God. They've been really, really hard to break through in this second half middles, bro. You've got to give them a lot of credit. Nil-nil it remains. Seconds to go. Here come Bora. Oh no no no. Oh Middlesbrough get a corner in the final minute here. Middlesbrough corner comes in. Yeah. Straight out for a goal kick. Looks like we're headed for a nil-nil draw then. Still a second leg to go. So then there you have it. We've just got back. It finished nil-nil at the CVS between Coventry City and Middlesbrough. Um not great, but not a disaster. It's just, it's, it's half time, it's, it's level, but we've missed an opportunity to win the home game. Um, it's not impossible, we could still win at the Riverside, but remember, you want to try and take advantage of these games at home, especially when you're you know, in the first leg. And I, I just feel like it, in the second half, it was there for us to maybe try and get a one goal lead. In terms of how the game played out, I do think Middlesbrough were probably the better team in the first half. Um, they had a few decent opportunities. Coventry did see a lot more of the ball in the second half and tried to make things happen. We were just sort of teasing the fans by knocking it around on the edge of the box but never really penetrating and we didn't get any shots on target today which is a real um, concern but we didn't concede I thought our defence managed quite well and a draw isn't a total disaster for Coventry but realistically it's a better result for Middlesbrough still got a chance we'll see what happens on Wednesday Burgi what's your thoughts? It's, it's just a little bit low I, I, was, I was saying to Matt that when we were coming out from this from the ground Usually, even after a draw, during a normal league match, the fans would still be buzzing. But it was just, it felt just, it was just dead. Because we're thinking, oh God, we've got, now we've got a way to face. And like you were saying, this was our chance to get the goals at home. Their ground's going to be buzzing. Yeah, well, it's not over though, is it? I mean, it's not easy and they're definitely going to be favourites for that next game. But... We still got a chance. We didn't lose. I mean, that was a very important thing. I said we, I said about how we needed to win, but at least we didn't lose. And I think it wouldn't surprise me if this game could go all the way to extra time penalties in the oh, second leg. I can't. You know what I'm like with my nerves. Imagine penalties. No. But as for the players today, I thought McNally was solid at the back. McFadzie was all right. Ben Wilson didn't have much to do. I, I, I rate Hamer. Towards the end, Hamer made a few mistakes. He could have got it, you know, could have mm. took his shots a little bit early, but... Hayman was class, he was weaving out in, around the players. Um, I do feel that after the first half, the second half of the first half, if you know what I mean, af after that we were getting a bit better for all oh, this second half we might find our player again. And 
No, their defence, Middlesbrough's defence, that is going to be what kills us, unfortunately. Mm. Two mean defences today, that's probably the best way to sum it yeah. up. Um, in terms of going forward, I just don't think we were on the same wavelength. Those passes, but people weren't getting onto them because they weren't judging that they were going to be played. Anyway, it'll be... Um, It'll be uh, all to play for at the Riverside on Wednesday. Do join us for the stream for that one. We'll be doing predictions, myself and Sophie, for the second leg. Really don't know which way to go at this moment in time. I do think the bookies are going to lean towards Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah. But Coventry have still got a chance. Do let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Do drop a like and subscribe. Um, fair play, by the way, to the Borough fans that came down and obviously all the Coventry fans that filled the CBS today. Uh, we will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay, guys.